Okay, the team is ready. We are in one of the richest neighborhoods of Istanbul. This is called Nishantashi. It's the city center. It's very hot for its shopping. We came here actually to show you a really nice Turkish breakfast place. And let's continue. Actually, they're really famous for um, their jams, and we are gonna try upstairs. They're also selling it here. Let's go. We are in Çeşme Bazlama Kahvaltı. We are here to show you the Grand Turkish Breakfast. Different from European uh, American breakfast, the Turkish breakfast is eaten on the table from the middle and uh, there's gonna be, it's called sertme, there's gonna be like bits and pieces of many, many beautiful things together. <laughs> this place is very nice and very homey and their first rule is doymadan kalkmak yasak. It is forbidden uh, to leave the table without getting full. Without getting full. Because we knew that rule, <laughs> Tuba haven't eaten anything for 18 hours. I ate something last night and that's it. For us it's almost like a century, so <laughs> we're really, really hungry and we're waiting for what's gonna come. And we don't know. I haven't been here before. Uh, Hande was here and she says that that's her favorite place. Konseptimiz doymadan kalkmak yasak, siz isteğimizi getirelim, afiyetler olsun. Teşekkür ederiz. Haydi bakalım, let's start. This is menemen. We have the recipe on the channel, you can find it here. This is menemen, so here it comes to Hande. Thanks. Uh, this is pishi, we must do it sometimes. Uh, this is like a, a fried bagel kind of thing and it's sucuk. We have the sucuk recipe also on the channel and this looks kind of gorgeous. Mmm, so nice. Mm. The tomatoes are one of the must-haves in the Turkish breakfast. Also some cucumbers. These are from Antalya and different kind of Turkish cheese. This is an Aegean tradition, mostly from Çeşme. This is karadut, black mulberry with some curd cheese. Sour and sweet together. This is acıka, one day we must do it. Uh, it's 10 different herbs together with pepper paste. Fried uh, potatoes, is a, it's, it has become a Turkish classic. Uh, almost in every breakfast, which is something I don't understand, uh, it's in every breakfast in Anatolia and everywhere in the world, in uh, Turkey now. They consume it in the villages. Mostly. They consume it in the villages a lot. And uh, we have uh, olives. We eat a lot of olives. We are the number one eaters of olives uh, because we eat it always on the break in breakfast. So good. And here there's the uh, double clotted cream with honey. Uh, double clotted cream with honey and very nice butter. What is this? I have never tasted it. This is not a classic, but this is interesting. Uh, with three cheese, mm, three cheese eggplant with a bit of, I think, peppers and cucumbers. Interesting. Oh, yeah. And turmeric. Uh, and, turmeric. Uh, and this is tahini molasses with hazelnut paste. Jams are a jam in Turkey, uh, and these are all, as you can see, very different ones. Starting from, uh, now is the season actually, the first figs that come up, which doesn't turn into a fruit, 
uh, we collect it, we put it into um, we put it into lime, and it hardens, and then you, it becomes a great smelling kazilcik, which I have no idea the English version of. I am one of those people who first did this uh, hot pepper jam. It's one of those from lavender to quince. So many different kind of jams. Uh, çok teşekkürler. Biz teşekkür ederiz efendim. Bizi çok uh, you geldiniz. choose whatever you like. Okay. Şimdi Let, alın. Tamam. Murat, bu nedir? What is this? Lavaş. Annemiz sizin için yaptı. Your Evli mom. Duvarları çıkıyor daha yeni. Annen nerede? Annen? Evet, annelerimiz. Ee, Afiyetler olsun. Gerçek özen de mi? Değil. Ama burada biz bir aileyiz. Hoş geldiniz. Evet. Wow. These are different kinds of gözlemes. Neli, with cheese, spinach, patatesli. Okay, until you're full, you can get as much as you like. So, this is sucuk. Burak, did you throw that bread? Oh. Or was it already there? It was there. It was there, all right, okay. Oh. This is serious, this will seriously damage your health. Gerçekten ya, yeme ya, gerçekten mi? Seriously. Siz gelmez misiniz? Sen yer misin gerçekten? Really? Sunny side up. It's called eye of the egg. Yeah. And pastırma. Maybe one day we should do pastırma for the channel, Burak. Oh, nice. Oh. Okay. <laughs> if you come to Istanbul and if you're not a vegetarian or a vegan, uh, you shouldn't leave without eating pastrma. Pastrma is actually a very old tradition. The meat was cured between the thigh of the man and back of the horse, squeezed. Bastırma, it comes from to press actually, not to squeeze, but to press. It's meat cured that way, and it's amazing taste. Mm. Mm. Actually, we have met the owner. This company is a, a daughter and mother family business. Uh, hope it's going to be global. How many years? Oh, uh, actually, this has been uh, since 1992. Uh -huh. My father actually started this, but not only on this concept, it was a, a bed and breakfast concept. I have um, uh, took the breakfast part from the bed um, and I've created a, a new concept, a new brand on its own. Are there any records, like for example, mm. they ate 18 minimum. Oh yeah, uh, especially with the Turkish donut called Pishi. Uh -huh. um, we have about 18, 18, 19 of them uh, per person. Per person. person. Oh. Yes, yes. Oh <laughs> exactly. Those don't it's too be. much for me. <laughs> yeah. uh, let me tell you another record, actually. Um, we've um, we had um, people waiting in the line for about an hour and a half to get into our restaurant to eat this breakfast. Which is kind of scary, but hey, it's a record, right? Yeah. Actually, no, here I have to add something. Because in, for example, in the United States, it's common to wait in line. You're right. Yes. Yeah. But in Turkey, it's, it's never. Yeah. Yeah. Never. And Especially the, the Turkish men. If there is like man. two people waiting in front of you, you no just way. walk away. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, for a Turkish person to wait for one and a half hours for... It's, it's uh, Unbelievable. It is unbelievable, yeah. 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 So um, that's one of our like forte. It's uh, one of our signature items actually in the house. And um, what's special about this, uh, Refika probably knows this much better than I do. Um, my my uh, mother is the, the chef in the kitchen. Um, that one, um, uh, we are still doing it from the grandma way. So we have in the working stations, we have at least two or three at a time working people. So that this is handmade still, not 
machine uh, made. So that's why it's soft and it's um, it and feels it like be. it's the grandma way. Yes, we we have not commercialized it, mm -hmm. it yet. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take so. the yet out as yeah. well. <laughs> <laughs> What about Sometimes there are leftovers. Yes, unfortunately. And unfortunately. What do you do with them? Actually, what we do is pishi, the donuts, the Turkish donuts, they actually go to seagulls. Uh, as you know, they're famous all over in Istanbul. And then um, the, the rest, the sujuk, for example, and um, cheese. our cheese, they go to dogs. You're Very full nice. and you're kind of sleepy. Yes, we need to sleep for a while, but we have another things to do, so we had our coffee. Yeah, a bit of food. coffee, a bit of tea. <laughs> That's it. So, actually, guys, when we summarize from this Turkish breakfast table, you can do most of the stuff, starting from gözleme. Gözleme. You know how to make uh, eggs. How to make lavash. Yes. Uh, you know how to make bazlama. We didn't talk about bazlama, by the way, in the che yes. video, but which the name of this uh, place uh, got it from. We, you can do bazlama. How oh, super. Yes, you can Murat. do sujuk. This is you bazlama. This is fluffy meat. Uh, and you can put a lot. We have that in the channel as well. Yes, yes. when uh, in the COVID time, the best and easiest bread that you can make is bazlama. So it's also on this channel. You can make sujuk. You can make some of the cheese. You can make butter. Butter, of and course. And menemen. And menemen is one of the winners on the channel, one of the most watched. Yeah. Sujuk, we, we never made jam for uh, the channel. If Actually, you want to make jam, please write it down. write down whatever they want us to do from the stable. Yeah. Ah, great idea, yes. On the other hand, I think it's a nice summary that we have done many of it. Yes. Yeah. I think we... So had the same at kebab place as well. We done much of stuff. There's the important for us to do. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. It was the, our last video. Then it's the Spanish breakfast is coming. Spanish breakfast. Okay. So that's it, guys. Hope you like the video. Take care. Bye bye.